Okay. You're, you're in a good mood tonight. It's very important for a comedian making an appearance here on Caroline's. I'm talking like that because this next guy is a buddy of mine for years. First saw him on The Tonight Show, and then we got to be friends. Lucky me. He's uh, one of the best. He's worked at Carnegie Hall, where a scalper tried to sell him a ticket to his own show. And he comes to us all the way from New Jersey, my good buddy, the one, the only, David Say. Give him a hand. So, any Jersey people here tonight? Do you think we have enough tolls in New Jersey? It's like nine bucks to get here from New Jersey? I hate paying tolls, because me paying tolls is like throwing money out the window. Okay. I know that's a dumb joke. I like it. It stays in. It's my decision, all right? You know what, Jersey people? We're the only ones to do this. The Jersey people are the only ones that pay tolls for their friends. You guys know that when you're going somewhere and your friends are following you? And you tell a guy in the booth, from my friend behind me, becomes like a social thing. You say, hey, can I buy you a toll? <laughs> I want to see some drunk guy get out of the car, you know, exit 123 for everybody. Okay. <laughs> Anybody old enough to remember when the drinking age was 18? Yeah. You guys remember that? When I was a kid in New York, it was 18 to drink. It was also 18 to drive. Isn't that a great idea, drinking and driving on the same day? What a great, brilliant idea that was. Now it's 16 to drive and 21 to drink, which is much better, right? Because it takes a few years to learn how to drink and drive. <laughs> now, did you see this in Jersey? Now, this is true that Kmart won't sell rolling papers now. Anybody hear about this? Because they said people are using rolling papers to roll marijuana cigarettes. Can you believe that? No, there are probably a few people rolling joints. But I think the majority of people are rolling tobacco cigarettes, right? Sure. Like last year, they sold 3.8 billion packs of rolling paper and two tins of loose tobacco. <laughs> Comes out to 3.8 flakes per cigarette, okay? And this is true now, in New York City, you hear about this? In New York, you have to be 18 to buy spray paint now. Anybody know why? Because of the graffiti, they spray the trains, you have to be 18. That means you need ID to buy spray paint in New York now. So now you see kids hanging around in front of hardware stores waiting for somebody to go in. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, Mr., can you get me a six pack of 20 beige? <laughs> it's not for me, man, it's for my mother. She wants to touch up the Renoir. <laughs> I know nobody's doing this tonight, but when you guys were a little bit under the drinking age, did you ever borrow ID from a friend to get into a bar? Did you ever do that? Because you know how senior citizens have to be 65 to get discounts in stores? You think like people 62, 63 borrow a phony ID from an older brother and sister? And the guy in the store tries to catch him lying? He goes, quick, what year were you born? Uh, 1929. Go on, get the hell out of here. Come with me when you grow up. Let's go. Get out of my store. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you. Did you guys hear about this night? Is it true that stamps are going up to 30 cents this year? Stamps will be 30 cents. Don't you think 30 would be better though? Because we like to round everything off. The best was 25. Wasn't 25 great? If you go to the post office to get stamps, you know exactly how many you get for a buck. You don't have to think, no change. Because you know how confusing it is when you're an odd number? Like 13, 15, 18, 29. When you go to the post office, it's like playing blackjack. It's like how much is three stamps? 87 cents? Okay, hit me. <laughs> 98, I stick. I'm good, man. That's good. I fall. I'm good. That's good. <laughs> now, a lot of stuff with stamps is a gamble, isn't it? Like when you get stamps from those stamp machines, aren't they a rip-off? Yeah. They always overcharge. They charge about 50 cents. Right? I wouldn't mind spending 50 cents if I got one stamp I can use. <laughs> right? But you spend 50 cents, you get like a 10, a 4, a 3, and a 1. <laughs> now you have to go for an inside straight before you can mail that letter. <laughs> You know what else is like gambling? Those candy machines with the little coils on them. You know those ones with the coils? You ever put the money and the coil turns around? Sometimes the candy doesn't fall out. Now you take another 50 cents, go for the same item. Now it's double or nothing on the Fig Newtons. Right? <laughs> and if you've seen this on TV, they really have it. They have these 398 digital watches. Anybody seen these? They work great till the batteries get weak. Then the digital numbers break up. You get weird stuff. You know when the elements burn out? Like somebody goes, what time is it? I so said, I got a 73 after L. <laughs> so, so, yeah. And you ever get all your bills beginning of the month and you don't have enough money that pay day to pay them all? <clears throat> Does everybody go through this? 
You trying to figure out which bills you have to pay right away and which ones you can wait on? Do you pay the stuff they can shut off first? <laughs> like the phone, utility, cable? Like the doctor, you don't have to pay right away, right? No, because he can't shut you off. Unless you're on one of those respirator machines, right? Then it's like, you know, we didn't get your check last week. <laughs> oh, you want to pay in installments? Okay, here's your oxygen in installments, okay? You know that? And sometimes, you know those envelopes you get, they send you with the little windows in them? To send back the bill. Did you ever put the check, the bill, the whole thing together? And right after you seal it, you realize the address is not showing through the window? Does that happen to everybody? Now it becomes like beat the clock, right? You got eight seconds to get the thing opened up, get it turned around and back down before the spit dries, right? You do that? You know what the dumbest one is? When you put the whole bill and the check and everything together, and you end up mailing it back to yourself. Everybody done that? <laughs> Two days later, you get in the mail, you go, what is it? I just played this yesterday. The hell with this. What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> and also, when you're trying to figure out how to pay the bills, Sometimes you take all the envelopes, you lay them out on a table, and you pick the one you're going to send back. You done that? It becomes like the Academy Awards. It's like the nominees are... <laughs> telephone bill, 98.65. Insurance premium, 88.32. Utilities, 91.26. And the winner is... New Stereo, 189.95. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys do that. Do you ever get a bill in the mail and just totally forget about it? Everybody done this? Just forget about it? And then you start getting those notices in the mail. Then you get the one with the red letters. You know the one? The one that says, final notice. I always go, oh good, they're not going to bother me with this crap anymore. <laughs> just got remarried. My wife's in the audience tonight. This true story. Now, I never heard of this, but I guess the girls are doing it now. Everybody's getting their, their uh, wedding dress preserved now. Have you heard about this? The girls, they like freeze dry it, save it forever so you can look at it. Is that what the idea is for girls to save the wedding dress? So girls want to save the dress because they can look at it, they can say, this is the dress I got married in. Right? They want to say, guys don't have that attitude. Guys have a whole different head, right? That's why guys rent the suit, okay? <laughs> and they take it back the next day so they never have to see it again as long as they live, right? <laughs> and if the store is closed, they're out there looking for a drop box. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> and guys, they don't only rent the suit, they rent the shoes, the shirt, the tie, the couplings. The only thing actually belongs to the guy when he gets married is his underwear, right? And that's more than he's going to have when he gets divorced, all right? Okay. You guys have a lot of fun. Thank you so much. David Stay, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to all of tonight's performers. See you next time on Caroline's Comedy Hour on A&E. David Stay's buying the coals on the way home. Good night.